Hi everyone, this is Peter Rodner. This is another app tutorial. Uh, this application can be found on the Google Play Store. It's called Comica. Um, the way I thought about this application was actually I noticed my students really enjoy reading these types of comics and I've also seen people reading them on the subway. So I thought it'd be a great idea to maybe use for the drone warfare. Instead of having students create a movie trailer, they could actually create a comic about a drone that maybe um, attacks Earth or some other type of comic book. So when you open up the application, you can go straight into your camera. There's also several templates that are already pre-made for students. And all they really need to do is input a picture in order to help make or begin their comic. Um, in addition to that, they do have kind of just a blank template where students can then just decide what images they want to input and they can edit them themselves. So just for this tutorial, I'll just give you a quick uh, example of how they can maybe be used in their final projects. So. If you notice here, I picked the template and there's actually three pictures that will be in this template. So you're going to need to choose three pictures overall. So I'll just click this one first. Okay. So immediately when you open it up, it's actually going straight to your camera function. So all you need to do is go to your gallery if you want. You can also turn the camera around so that way they can take pictures of themselves. However, if you do use the camera, you can also adjust the brightness and zoom level uh, depending on how bright the room is. So just for this tutorial, I'll be going to my gallery. And they'll ask you if you'd like to use the trimming or no trimming function. Uh, really all this is is a cropping function. So depending on the size of the template that you use, you need to have a picture that will fit in correctly. So majority of the time I suggest you use trimming. And what I'll do is I'll just pick an image. This is my dog, Pot. And now you see that it's basically asking you just to crop out the portion that you want for the actual image. So I'll just take this little bit here of her face and I'll press done. And it's going to convert it into a comic book style. So here I can actually save this image immediately just by clicking the save button on the top. And it'll go directly to my image gallery on my tab. So one thing I really like about this though is down on the bottom they have several functions where you can adjust the brightness, the screen tone, as well as a few decorations. Um, the screen tone has a lot of options and this is really good. That way your image, you can be sure that you really get a good style and it really does show what you want in your image. So as you can tell there's a small modification being done and depending on what your image is you can find the best one that best highlights what you want to show. So that one looks really good there. So once I'm done, I'll close that and I'll press complete. Okay. So as you can tell, this image has now been inputted into this template. And I have another one over here, so I'll click this one. And once again, I'll go to my gallery. I'll use my trimming. And then I'll pick this image here. So what I can do here now is once I start editing, it says, okay, this is the size of the picture or area. Okay, so actually I want it to be more on this side and I'll press OK. And therefore I have the image here and once again I'm going to adjust the tone to really get the image the way I like for my final project. Okay, now in addition to that you can have several decorations. Here they give you an option to do some background so these sides swipes you can actually change those or maybe do a different one if you like. Um, that's really useful when you're doing a blank template. In addition, you can add some words or there seems to be some kind of images that you can maybe input to show some type of action. So if you want, you can put in this and then obviously you can rotate it, you can move it around on the screen, wherever it is that you feel that it would best fit. So if I want to cover that up or something. Now if I want to delete this, all I have to do is on the top left hand corner there's a layer button. So each text or each bubble you put on will be a layer. So all you have to do is click it and you can press delete. At the same time you can also adjust those. So if you want one layer on top of another. Lastly you have the text function. The text function is pretty basic. What it does is it allows you to uh, type in any text that you want. Here you can choose what colors you want depending on what the background is. And I'll press complete. And then obviously you have the words and you can adjust them just as you could the bubble. You can make it smaller, you can make it bigger, you can move it around on the screen depending on how you would like it to be. So I'll just put that right there. And then I'll press OK, complete on the top right hand corner. And now I have a view of what that image. Once again, I can save it directly to my image library if I want. And for the last one, just for the tutorial, I'm just going to use the same image. But 
I'm going to use the other side of it because it's black on the right hand side this time and I will adjust it and I will go on this side and I'll say done and then I can adjust it once again to make sure that I have the image that I want in there and I will click save and complete so now I have all three images in each one of these templates if I press the intro comic it gives me a view of what it looks like all together and I can press save and once again it goes directly to my media library so just to give you an idea of how easy it is if I go straight to my gallery we can see that image that I just made here it is and then you can obviously scroll through and here are a few other things that I made in this application uh, just for fun so as you can tell the image shows up really well and obviously there's multiple uses for this depending on uh, what students want they could actually be the superhero or comic and then they could have a drone also here so I hope this app tutorial is something that has helped you guys out if you have any questions or comments you're welcome to use uh, the comment section on the bottom other than that I hope you have a great C2 class